Hi, my name's Rachel Andrews. Welcome to Everyday Athlete. On this week's video, I thought I'd take a look at what to wear before and after an outdoor swim. One thing I really like about outdoor swimming is that it's so inclusive and it's not about having the latest gear or the coolest clothes. In actual fact, it's almost the direct opposite when it comes to the clothes. So I'm going to walk you through the kind of kit that I wear when I go for a swim. Um, there's not a lot to it, but it's well thought out. For me, the key thing is that the clothes have got to be quite loose fitting so that I can get them on really easily um, and possibly in a slightly unusual way um, because I need to be getting myself warm as quickly as possible, especially as we move into the cooler months when once you get out the water, your body temperature continues to drop for a short while. So you are likely to get more bumbly and uh, struggle a little bit with things like zips and uh, fastening anything up. For my body, there are just three main components. I have a pair of fleecy trousers. What's great about these is just how high up they come. Aren't I just the sexiest beast ever? So, find yourself some easy to get on trousers of some description, could be pyjamas, these are fleecy uh, trousers for underneath sailing kit, um, you can buy those second hand really easily off eBay or somewhere, um, but the key component is that loose enough just to whoop on over whatever footwear you've still got on. Next up is just a plain old vest, uh, really easy to pop on if you step into it rather than trying to wrestle it over your slightly damp body and getting it caught in a wrinkle on your back. If not wearing underwear is a bit of a worry um, and you want to keep the girls under control then go for something like a secret support vest, one that's got like a little elastic -y bit to keep the girls under control. Uh, on occasion I'll pop one of these on if I'm going somewhere where um, uh, I might need to look slightly more respectable to be fair putting a vest on with a bit of secret support is not really going to make me re look respectable. And finally for the big stuff, it's a hoodie. Oops, managed to get a bit of mud on the boob. Lucky it's not a fashion parade. So those are the three main things that I put on to start with. The next thing I'll put on is a pair of fingerless gloves. Once I've got the gloves on, it's then time to take off my swim hat and uh, neoprene cap from wearing one and pop on a bubble hat. So that's me all nice and warm and cosy. Getting dressed after a swim is a really serious business and it's something we've got to pay a lot of attention to, to make sure we can get ourselves dry dried and dressed quickly so that we can start the rewarming process. So think about simplifying your kit down to things that are easy to get on and that don't stick to your skin as you're trying to eek them on, yank them on, pull them on, whatever you want. Make sure it's easy on stuff so that you can start warming up and get to that hot drink. For those of you that hung out and you're still with me, you'll notice that I haven't talked about footwear. Well, that's because I've still got it on. So I don't take my footwear off until I get back to the car, if I can at all help it. If I'm going a little further, then yeah, I'll need to take my shoes with me and deal with that somehow. Um, sometimes I might take neoprene socks and some crocs because the crocs can float along behind me just tied onto the back of my toe float. A tip I found with my kit when I'm uh, walking back is to make things easier to carry is to use your toe float, stuff the stuff back in it, do it up and then use the waistband to create a shoulder strap. Now on this one, that's nice and long, I can actually put it all the way over and it leaves me hands free to either drink my drink, stand and chat, whatever I want. But I really like to carry my stuff just like this. Once I'm back at the car, it's time to switch these for these. 
Something that's also worth a mention is that when I swim, apart from wearing those clothes as I get out, I also have a changing robe over the top. And that could be in the guise of a, an actual dedicated changing robe, uh, the kind that you buy off the hook, or it could be just putting on some kind of a windproof outer. It could be a cagoule, it could be anything. You don't have to go to great expense. Well, as you can see, it's a fairly simple affair, the kind of clothing that you put on after a swim. But I hope this week's video has given you a little bit of food for thought about maybe strimming down the amount of kit you're taking and really picking the items that work for you. If you've enjoyed the video, please give it a like and drop me a comment. I always answer the comments on my channel. And if you did enjoy it, please also consider subscribing to my channel because I'd love to have you along. And I'll see you next Tuesday. Bye.